All right, Kev, I gotta show you something. Yeah, what is that? Well, it's something I picked up a while back. Okay. I didn't tell you about it. Okay. Kevin hates it when I buy cars and they just sit around waiting for me to get some inspiration on them before I even start working on them, but he hates it even more when I do all that work and ended up keeping them. So I got one right now that I gotta show Kevin, but I think he's gonna be pretty happy with the game plan. What is it? It's a 75 El Camino. All right. Which is kind of a year that not a lot of people do things with. They like the older ones, you know? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But I couldn't pass it up. Okay. With the sedan front and the truck bed back, the premiere of the El Camino 1959 was Chevy's answer to the Ford Ranchero. After the failed launch, the El Camino came back in 1964 and would be produced by Chevy until 1987. With its unique design, the El Camino was able to accommodate three passengers as well as an 800-pound payload. Literally translated, the path, the El Camino became one of the most iconic muscle cars of the 1970s. And even though they were discontinued in 1987, they're still one of the most iconic muscle cars on the road today. Obviously had it for a little while, because you can see we've done a ton yeah. of work on her already. Like, yeah. for instance, we've already shaved off the tailgate, welded the whole thing up. That's all done. Yeah. You've got to see the custom bumper that, that, that Fab has done. Narrowed it, tucked it, custom lights in the bumper. It's beautiful. The body on this thing is so straight. Everything is gorgeous on this car. What are you putting in as far as an engine? Crate motor, brand new 350 Chevy. Mm -hmm. It's got 350 automatic trans. It's got factory air conditioning, power steering, power brakes, tilt wheel. Uh, gonna do all traditional, clean, black interior. You know, a few little custom touches mm -hmm. on it. And this truck, car, whatever you want to call it, El Camino, is gonna be gorgeous. So it's, it's going to be a great vehicle for the end user, better than new. Why I'm telling you about it now mm -hmm. is because soon it's going to be done, mm -hmm. and you are going to help me sell it. We get to sell this We're going to sell it. We're going to sell it. We're <sighs> going we're gonna to flip this car. <laughs> so I didn't want you to be surprised well, when I start saying, dude, I got a 75 El Camino for sale. Let me see if I can work on getting it sold before it's done. All right, all right, yeah, start looking for a buyer now. Thank heaven Danny is going to sell a car today. It is getting harder and harder to rip these babies from him. Today is a good day. You know, I don't go through body shop too often. Yep. And uh, maybe I should. Nah, it's good this way. <laughs> it's good this way. You don't, you don't, you don't, you don't need to know. I got too much to do. Yeah, you don't need to yeah. know everything. I got you. I got you. <laughs> Thanks, man. <laughs> all right, all right. Ryan! Bring out that beautiful El Camino, my brother! Love this car. I mean, you don't even know what that is coming at you. This ain't my dad's El Camino. <laughs> yeah, this is this is a, yeah, this is something special. That is nice. This 1975 El Camino is just sick. Paulie designed a custom interior that is absolutely stunning, with black faux bucket seats and orange piping all the way through. Now, he wanted Ryan to keep the outside subtle, so of course, Ryan blanketed the entire truck with volcanic red and orange apocalyptic flames, and somehow it works perfectly. We gave her a whole new face with a custom grill and tucked in D-chrome bumpers to complete that sinister vibe. With this insane paint job, this El Camino's gonna turn heads till the end of time. Baby, this thing is hot. It is outstanding. The true flame job, Ryan, is just gorgeous. It looks like real flame. Check out down the side of this thing. That bumper all tucked in real nice and clean. Everything is shaved. There is no chrome on this car except those wheels, those polished wheels just stick out, man. And around the back, the tailgate completely shaved and sealed up. Back bumper, it's been narrowed, it's been tucked, it's been smoothed, and then we did these crazy custom tail lights. That's not all. The interior in this thing, Paul went nuts. Took the bench seat and cut it in a manner that it's still one piece, but it's like separate buckets. And then you've got your orange to tie in the flames. Brand new Crate 350 engine. So whoever does end up with this car basically has a brand new 75 El Camino that never looked this cool. Ba-boom. Wow. You guys nailed it. Nailed it on this one. If you want us to leave you here so you can you can ponder with it for a while while we while we go do other business? Give me the keys. I'll take it. <laughs> keys are, keys are in it, aren't they? Yeah, the keys are in it. Yeah, make sure we get the keys out of this before we wander <laughs> off.
Man, I almost feel bad about selling this baby to somebody else other than Randy, because I can tell he really wants it. But this is Vegas, and a deal's a deal. Sometimes you just gotta walk away. I'm not too worried. Another El Camino is gonna be coming through soon enough.